why do I subject myself to such torture? I'm stuck with you, bitch. Stuck with me? Oh my god, why do I subject myself to such torture? Why is this iPad filming today? You! <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking stuck with you. Ah, good old Atlantic Beach. On a nice hot summer day. It's sippy. I'm back. He's back! He's stuck with me! He's stuck! You're stuck with me! Sing it! You don't look like Ariana! Definitely don't look like you. her. If you did, man, boy, there'd be trouble. <laughs> On our way to a job. This guy's got a, a Goodman uh, ECM motor that's uh, shot, and uh, Goodman has nothing available. <laughs> back order, like, about two weeks. So Mikey Pipe's gonna make it happen. Stay tuned. Make sure you thumbs up. If you want some t-shirts, baseball hats, pens, stickers, details in the description box down below. All right, stay tuned. The one is that we, the problem is getting the motor. No one's got it available. Okay. I could put in a different motor that number one could run continuously, which would be the cheapest option, or number two, we add a control that will turn the motor on and off, but you lose the control board of the system. So it's best to have the, the correct motor, right? You're looking at six weeks. Seriously, nothing's available. I even, I even contemplated buying the brand new version of that, the whole air handler, but the motor's different. <laughs> I know you're busy with that. So, uh, let me just give you a motor that will run. You'll have 24 hour operation of just fan. What does that mean? It'll work. It's fine. It's just air circulating. It's good, better for air, better airflow. You'll have filtered air, all that good stuff. Or we add a control that will turn the fan on and off based on thermostat. The life. The life of the life. I love my job. I really do. You know, I work on these waterfront Taj Mahals and mansions, McMansions. And then we have, you know, the bungalows and the tenements. At the end of the day, if you ain't having fun, find yourself a better career. If you're looking for a job, you want a career change, let's talk. <laughs> Email me, mike at mikeypipes.com, and we can get rid of this character right here. Who's actually is great for the channel because he's so you don't know what he's gonna what dumb thing he's gonna do next you really don't the only reason i'm still here is because yeah Mikey pipe subscribers have gone up exponentially they go up anyway okay don't don't, right. don't 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 blow smoke up your ass they go you know, up exponentially no nah, nah. all right let's talk about this goodman all right this is an ecm blow motor and unlike your traditional 1075 RPM half horsepower motors, this one runs at 1175 or 1125. And Goodman does not have this motor available anywhere in the country right now. Anywhere. How sad is that? What did I tell you about sitting down the job? If I'm not sitting, you're not sitting. I'm, I'm squatting. <laughs> See? All right. Sippy. Let's get, let's get the, the drill with the 516s on it. First thing we're gonna do is make sure the power is off, which it is. We're gonna disconnect our harnesses, which control this ECM motor. And then I am gonna take this thing out. And you need to be, make sure, you need to be a better bitch, by the way. Come here, and you make sure you stay focused on what I'm doing. I'll make sure everything gets in the video. Okay, let's pop out these four screws. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, how to make this work. Because as you can see, we are not in a little bungalow, right? We're in like a little mansion. Get in there. 
All right. And we have to restore air conditioning for our client. For our client. Okay. Now, the person who put in this air handler obviously didn't think about any contractor because I don't really have that much room there. But I got a good feeling that she's going to come out. Now, I also got that one screw right there. Sippy, get a, give me a needle nose. The ground. Where does this ground go, actually? Let me not cut that. Let's find out where that ground goes and disconnect it. Uh, ground. What? They thought I was going to cut that wire. You know, I have a lot of trolls in the channel. They think I'm a hack. That you hack? That I'm a hack. That you are a hack. Yeah. To life. To no, to what I do. Yeah, they think I'm a hack. Like, yeah. oh, you know, like, so you know what I do? I just block them. You, block them, you like, know, I just they're go... They're praising you, basically, huh? No, they're not pr praising me. They're saying that you can No, they're like things. a troll. No, a hack. I mean, like, you a hack job. Like, Band-Aid and peanut butter. You know, Band-Aid and bubble uh, gum. Uh, you know, uh, uh, pasting the uh, things back together like uh, ain't none of that here on this channel definitely not. so that's why i didn't cut that wire some of them thought i was going to cut the wire but i didn't sippy cups got the blower motor assembly which is the housing and the wheel and the motor and we're going to make this happen all right here we are outside here is that ecm motor now because I cannot get this one, right? I could get a similar ECM motor, but it doesn't have the same sp uh, speed. So now we're in a pinch. I can't let him go weeks without central air on the top floor of this Taj Mahal. Oceanfront Taj Mahal. Because it's only fan, no? What? That's considered air because it's a fan. It won't be cooling the house. Because there's no blower, so there's no air movement. Right? If you have no air movement, you're not going to have any air conditioning. And once we get the blower, the cooling part of the AC will work or it won't yes. work? Yes. Yeah? Because well, you'll have air movement. Uh -huh. Right? So, option number one is we can put in a similar voltage 240 volt motor. Right? However, it's not going to be an ECM motor, an electronically computated motor. It's not going to have that. So, we're going to lose some efficiency. Right? And in order for me to use that, kind of motor and not make it run 24 seven, I would have to add a relay that will turn on and off the blower when the thermostat calls for cooling. Copy what we saw for? doing it that we're making it. We're gonna make it run 24 yeah. seven. It's the most cost effective solution here. And at the end of the day, every time you, the motor turns on and off, that's when the maximum power is drawn by any motor. And if we keep it running 24 seven, we're gonna decrease life. We're gonna, inc we're gonna not decrease life expectancy, but it'll have a standard life, right? If we have an electronic air cleaner or an ultraviolet light system in place, guess what? We need the fan running 24 seven anyway. So there's really no harm here. Plus they're getting the most cost effective job, saving them time and money. Makes sense, right? Makes okay. Sense. So the first thing we're gonna do, since we're on the ocean, as you can see, there's a lot of rust on this already, even though this, you would think this is outside. See all that rust in the blower wheel? You would think that this thing is located outside an outdoor condenser, but it's not, right? But we have a lot of rust right there, a lot of it, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a grinder and cut this off. I would normally take some scratchy paper, yeah, some emery paper scratchy. and clean this off, but we could try that, but it's very, very pitted. You know, kind of like that rebar in the cement slabs of that building that collapsed. You know, all yeah. the cement went away, and guess it's exposed to the atmosphere. Look how rusted up that is. It's That's crazy. Look at even the blow. It's not dirt. It's just rust. See? Oh just rust. God. So, it is what it is. So, one of the first things you're going to do is prepare your body. You want to make sure you're wearing some proper gloves and eye protection. I got a Milwaukee M18 fuel grinder. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this. Do I need any protection?
Okay. Took up a chunk of that. <laughs> I'm gonna take out the retaining screw on the hub. Okay. Let's see if she'll move already. Yeah, she'll come out. All right. We're not gonna, one thing you don't wanna lose is that. Let's not lose that. Now, let's spin this bad boy over. We have a couple screws here we need to take out. And I think, I may be wrong, but I think we may be okay with this one. Nope, I'm wrong. You know why I'm wrong? Because it's a Goodman. Are you paying attention? Mm -hmm. it better be. You have another drill here? socket let's try if i'm feeling lucky no i'm feeling lucky i'm feeling lucky i'm feeling lucky ah a little bit too big how about this one perfect take a closer look at how this motor is configured and how the bracket is installed. Cool? Cool. All right. Ethy, there's a box sitting on the floor. It says US motor on it in the back of the truck. Floor of the truck. Motor, get the blower motor. Back of the truck, side door, you'll see there's a box on the floor. Yep. You said you knew what I was talking about. Does that say motor on it? You're not paying attention. Those are all the hats. Those are 50 hats in there. See, look at that. Motor. U.S. Motor Rescue. You grab the box of hats. The only way you're getting a hat? Hats? Yes. There's a Why whole box of them. And you didn't give me one. Because you got to donate. St. Mike commands thee to donate to get a hat. Fresh. And it looks just like this one. Embroidered, baby. I don't, do, I don't do silk screening printing. Icon. The same exact. All right, let's take this motor out and replace it. All right. Overall, same physical dimensions. All right, let's take out this nut. Get behind me, start recording. Be a good, be a good sippy cup. Got the Nipix. Is that like a mini cap? Basically. Okay. I need to put those things on the new one. Yep. So now we'll get this motor out of the way. We'll bring this motor into play. Let's take this housing like that. Put these feet back in. Alright. Just gonna tighten it up a little bit. Start. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Let's bring over the motor again. Now, one thing to keep in mind is how we put this in. I mean, how we took it out. If you recall, this is the back part of the air handler, and this is the front part. 
in the case you don't remember which is which, remember where you had your screws? Remember I had those two screws here? And two in the bottom? There we go. All right? That's how we know. Well, it was, if we're standing in front of the air, air handler, it was just like that. Like that. Correct. Here's, here's the, uh, the code list for, you know, the control board that they have on the unit. So now we're just going to take our motor and slide into place and then secure that screw. Hi. Oh my God. Look at you. What is your name? So she told us that the dog was five years, and then you asked, in, in dog years? <laughs> like, really? What's, his, what's her name? Sophie. What kind of dog is she? Oh, she's shaking. Kick up because we're going to the groomer. Oh, you know you're oh, going to the groomer. My dog doesn't like the doggy day spa either. Oh my God, you're so cute. We'll make you a YouTube star. Okay, so now that the motor is secure to the what up? This yeah, that's screw. Give me that. Now that the motor is and the housing, I'm sorry, the motor mount is secure to the actual blower assembly. Now we're gonna put the set screw in. We're gonna lift this up about halfway and tighten that up with the, uh, the adjustable pressing wrench. Okay, and I'll be a nice guy, and we're gonna cut off the rest of the shaft. Patrol. Or is that a blade? Ah, uh, it's beach patrol. And now you can carry it upstairs. Thank you. Be a good sippy cup. Oh, look, you made yourself shorts by rolling up your, your pants. You're very resourceful, sippy cup. I know. Your, your parents must be proud. I know. He is such a klutz. <laughs> I swear. Listen and bang it. Don't put it on the floor. The hardwood floor. Do not put it on the hardwood floor. I just said do not put it on the hardwood floor. Uh, if anything, just rest it there and hold it. <sighs> Sippy, what am I gonna do with you, bro? What am I gonna do with you? All right. Make yourself useful so you see what I'm doing. All right. This. All right. It's gotta go in there. And then there's some more on the bottom. God damn you. Why did you want to go in? on the top sippy. Um, you're almost there. A little bit more up. A little bit more up. Uh, relaxed. Good. Uh. Now we get this thing in. Yeah, I got it. You got it in? Yeah. Uh. Sometimes you gotta lick it before you stick it. <laughs> Attention to record. You're sitting there looking at the ocean like you're daydreaming. There's two wires here, two brown wires I'm gonna use first. All right, and that's for my capacitor. And there's my capacitor. This is a rescue motor, so it gives me different speeds, different horsepower, not different speeds, different horsepower. And you, that's based off what size capacitor you're using. I'm using a 10, and that's gonna give me half horsepower according to the specification of this motor. I'm gonna take a little piece of band iron right here. Make sure nothing on the opposite side. Perfect. All right. And I'm gonna secure this cap on the side of this blower compartment. Some people will just not do that. 
but not me. Good. What would they do with it? I don't know, let it dangle. Hang out inside. And if I had my snips, I'd probably cut that off. Now, so the brown wire is that, right, which goes to this capacitor. I have a lot of slack there. So let's just bundle this up like a progressive insurance plan, right? Only pay for what you need. Now that's, that's liberty, right? Get your wet teddy bears here. Wet teddy bears. You know what I'm talking about, Ethan? Not even a little. You don't even watch TV, do you? I don't watch TV. I don't hear, I hear you. Liberty Mutual, they have the, there's a new, yeah, I've seen yeah, the, see the guy, the guy's in the dirty water dog station, and, uh, dirty, uh, you know, dirty, work, dirty water dog cart. You know what dirty water dogs are? Hot dogs. In New York City, you have these carts, hot dog yeah. vendor carts. They're called dirty water dogs. That's what those are called? That's what they're called. Yes. Why? Are they boiled in dirty water? Basically. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. All right. Now, I have all these other wires that you said, oh, that's all these wires for, right? I got all these other wires, which we are now going to shove into this hole over here to the other side, which is now in there, right? And let's not forget about our reversing leads. Let's take a zip tie. Are you showing us? You getting in there. Let's get a little zip tie here. And let's zip tie off the reversing leads. We don't want those wires getting sucked into the motor. Okay? Like that. Now, all of my wiring that I need is over here. All right? And here, this group of wire right here, this, this is my 240 volts. See that? Black and red. So, I'm gonna cut that off right there. We're gonna strip off some wire here. And then we're gonna refer to, oh, what happened there? Something just popped out. Something just popped out. I probably popped out of the transformer. The red wire. Where did the red wire come from? Red wire. Came from up there. Guess who did? Two Wagos. Huh? Two Wagos. Wagos. Clear case. Get the clear case out. Why, you want 516s? Get the clear case. Wagos. Lego my Wago. Well, if you weren't hung over this morning, show up to work on time, you would mm. you would see me use a Wago this morning. Uh -huh. Alright. The connector. Alright, I secured all my wire. There's no way I was telling this guy he's not going to have any summer with air conditioning. And I'm not replacing the air handler unless it's absolutely necessary. It's not absolutely necessary. He gave him a new motor. We've got 24-7 continuous fan operation. And guess what? On the return side, he's got an ultraviolet light that I didn't even notice. There you go. Why'd you fart, bro? It stinks. You really are immature. It was you. You're immature. No, I just asked you farty. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Beavis. <laughs> I don't even watch that show. That means I'm immature. Watch out. Idiots. All right. Off to the next. Hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed creating it and sharing with you guys. It shows you that sometimes you got to use your head. Now, yes, the, the replacement ECM motor is several weeks out, not available. What's unique about it is a higher RPM than a traditional uh, ECM motor running at half horsepower, 240 volts. So it's not like I, I could throw in a third party. It's just they have a lower speed. And if I'm going to spend that money to 
replace an ECM motor, at least I'm gonna have the same exact RPM and specification. In this case, I saved them a boatload of money. I put in a 240 volt blower motor with a 10 microfarad capacitor to give him half horsepower. And I saved him hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And since he had a UV light on the return side, the fan should be running 24 seven anyway. So we made it happen and he's happy. It is what it is. Um, yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed this. Let me get a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already. The best way to support this channel is to subscribe and give me your thoughts, feedback, even criticism down in the comments section down below. And I got plenty, plenty, plenty of Pipe Doctor hats in large and extra large. Uh, the 2X and 3X are special order. I got 50 hats that just came in. And of course, plenty stickers and pens. Details in the description box down below. Thank you very much for watching. Be well. God bless.